Good day, everybody. I've heard enough about Obama's plan to uh, enhance jobs and economy to say, when does a white lie become an absolute lie? Where in the point do you take a half-truth and say, that's not so? You are lying completely. Now, why do I say that? Because we're getting a lot of half-truths. Since Warren Buffett wanted his name, I'll use him as an example. Oh, no, let's just say a rich man. We won't even use Warren Buffett. Very rich people don't get paid cash. People who make millions and millions of dollars a year don't get paid cash. Do you know why? Because then they would go in the income tax bracket. And of course, if you make over so many thousands of dollars, you're at 35%. That's a lot. So how do they get paid? They get paid with spe special bonds and treasuries and notes like that. Now that's fine and dandy, except for there's a little problem there. When they go to cash those bonds in, of course, they get money for it. So a company, let's say, gives me $8 million in treasury notes or whatever, bonds, special kind of bonds. I take it immediately, go cash those bonds. What is the interest I pay on those $8 million? Taxes, I mean. What is the taxes I pay on those $8 million? 35%? No. How about 30%? No. Okay, then let's say just to jump 20%. No, even less than that. Then what do that person who took that $8 million, he got paid for that year in bonds, and went and cashed them all in right away, pay in taxes? 15%. Whoa, 15%. Yet that guy who's making $350,000 hard work, direct pay, is paying 35%. That's right. But let's go one even further. <laughs> let's say there's this CEO gets paid in these bonds and things, and he gets $130 million. And that's a lot more than $8 million. And he takes and cashes in all his bonds right away. Now, what percentage does he pay? Now, he definitely is going to be paying a higher percentage, right? Because he's cashing in $130 million. Nope. He's paying 15% too. It seems to be that people who are very rich don't want to get paid direct cash because they don't want to pay income tax. They don't want to pay the high rates on income tax. So they get paid under these special promissory note bonds, something. I'll find out the exact name. And they only pay 15% interest. I mean tax. <clears throat> Excuse me, 15% tax. Now, because I can't tell you the name, I don't want you to take my word for what I'm saying here. I'm doing some research on it. <clears throat> I want you to go and research it yourself. <clears throat> See how these rich people are getting paid that make these multi-million dollar salaries. And what's the tax rate on what they got paid if they cashed in those items right then and there? It's not treated like income. Now you notice that Obama didn't say people who cash in these bonds should get hired. Only the people who make nice little words there. Because the guy who has the small business and makes $350,000, he makes that. Where's that CEO that came from who knows where that gets paid that $130 million? He didn't make that. Until he cashes in those bonds, he made absolutely nothing. Zero. Nothing. When he cashes in those bonds because they're a special type of bond, he only pays 15% interest on those bonds. No matter if he cashes in $100 or 
or 130 million. And Obama wants you to believe he's for sharing the wealth. No, he's for destroying our economy. If he truly believed he was sharing the wealth, he would go after those bonds and put them on a progressive scale similar to that of income. See, those bonds and treasure notes was a thing used to get people to invest and later in life when they have less income and started cashing them in they would have less taxes but the extremely rich people decided to take total advantage of it now what it should be done is change so that maybe the first twenty thousand or twenty five thousand is at fifteen percent then maybe 25,000 to 90,000 or even 100,000 at 20 percent. Let's say 100,000. 100,000 to 250,000 at 25 percent. 250,000 to a million at 30 percent. And everything over a million at 35 percent, just like your salary that if you make over like seventy thousand dollars you're at thirty five percent see that's the truth that is not what he's touching he wants to go after the salary of individuals make you believe he is for the poor when actually he is not touching anything that the really rich have. And how they go about avoiding paying taxes. Because I don't think a single person in Congress will uh, go for it. Because you'd be affecting them. Having them pay more taxes. And people like Warren Buffett would have to pay more in taxes. Just something for you all to think about. Why he's standing here yelling to 250,000, 250,000 that they make by the sweat of their brows that they get paid direct as income. While other people are getting millions upon millions given to them in treasury notes and bonds when they cash in is only 15%. So, I want you to decide what is the truth. I want you to go looking it up. I want you to go researching it. I don't want you to believe a single word I said here. I want you to check into it. And then you decide what is the truth. When you find out the truth like I did, you're going to go, whoa, wait a minute. Is Obama telling us a white lie? Is it really he's lying to us? What is he really saying? What is he really doing? That you're going to have to figure out for yourself. Now you see, if I was president, I'd be going after those special bonds. And I'd explain to you why. Because people that are really, really rich don't get paid. They get these special bonds, special treasury notes, special whatever they are. And they're only taxed at 15% when they cash them in. So we should need and must raise that. Or maybe we should look at going to a sales tax. Now some people say the sales tax would be regressive because it would take a larger proportion out of the poor people's salary. But actually, by giving them the rebate, the poor people's rebate would be a larger proportion of their salary 
compared to someone that is filthy rich or really rich. They all get the exact same rebate. Do you see what I'm saying? So therefore, someone who's at the lower income, that rebate would be a lot of money. Where someone's at the higher income, he might not even cash the check because he doesn't even consider it anything. You see what I'm saying? Person who makes fifteen thousand dollars a year, fourteen hundred dollars every two or three months is a lot of money. For somebody who makes fifteen million dollars a year, fourteen hundred dollars is nothing. For pennies. So the tax is kind of regressive, yes. But the sales tax redeems itself by the rebate for the things that should not be taxed. And I understand it straight to everybody. By doing that, you make the tax less regressive and more progressive, in a sense. It will favor the poor greater than it favors the rich. <clears throat> That's what progressive means. The more you make, the more you tax. But it seems to be in our country, you can make a whole bunch in certain things and you get taxed less than anybody who gets a paycheck. Because we start off at a higher tax bracket, like 16, 17% than they do. If we make anything. And they stay at the lowest tax bracket of 15%. Sales tax, if we did do a sales tax, doesn't have to be around 20%. Combined with state might be end up at 20% or 21, 22. But the federal sales tax would probably only have to be like 15%. Because there's a lot of things that are bought that nobody pays any taxes on. And once they come into the country, they pay taxes. And what's nice about the rebate is that the rebate goes to everybody who's registered and is in this country. If an illegal alien wants to send us his address, he'll get his rebate check, and we'll show up with the government, shows up with his check, gives him his check, take him to the airport, buys a ticket, flies him home. See? Just a simple little idea. Okay, now this is JD. I want you to understand. Where does the lie begin to be a lie? You have to decide. People who are filthy rich don't get paid. They get treasury notes, things like that, which when they cash them in, is at 15%. Where you get paid, depending on how much you get paid, is what your tax bracket is, and they're trying to raise that on you, and it will not touch anybody who does not get paid a direct salary. Think about that.